hello guys welcome to ambidotronics so today in this video tutorial i will show you how we can uh, install uh, visual studio code and how we can uh, include uh, mingw compiler on it so and we will run one uh, small c uh, test code for hello world code on that so what i will do i'll just first install microsoft visual studio code so for that we need to uh, go, go to google and type microsoft visual studio code download so here is the first link visual studio code and in this uh, we will click on this windows and uh, automatically it will ask uh, uh, for the down download thing uh, so now what will we do we will just uh, uh, go to uh, uh, any uh, anywhere uh, any document and we will download that and we will just click on this document and we will just click on save now it's been saved there so what i will do now uh, i'll just uh, uh, go to there and uh, we will we'll just uh, from uh, We'll go to download and we'll just uh, install it by clicking here okay so so we'll accept this and I click on next okay we can create a desktop icon if uh, if you want uh, so we'll create next next so uh, it's installing uh, in a couple of uh, moment uh, minutes it will stall maybe it will take um, less than a minute here yeah. so it is installing okay finish Now this is uh, our Visual Studio. Now what we need to do, we need to um, uh, install uh, MinGW compiler for that. So for that uh, again we will go to uh, uh, Google here and uh, we'll just um, search for mingw compiler download so this first link will go source for net and here we'll just download it so it will be downloaded uh, in a second Yes, again, uh, here we need to save this and now we'll just go to our downloads and we'll just click on this installation and we'll install, continue. So installation progress is started now. will take a couple of uh, minutes uh, to start uh, it's connecting yeah it started now it will uh, take a tiny little time so I'll just pass forward this process uh, for you so it's processing it's happening setup is updating installation is uh, is updating itself and uh, process is going on So it's still processing. So 
so yeah you can see uh, it's uh, finished um, here you can see catalog update completed click check details pan pane for er uh, errors and now we'll just click on continue and here we, uh, here these things uh, if you'll see that mingw developer tool mingw uh, 32 base uh, in the last video I showed you how we can uninstall uh, this mingw so those packages and all will be installed uh, by by using this these enabling this uh, these uh, installer packages so here in the first you can see an and sys installation for mingw developer meta a basic mingw installation the gnu ada compiler however we don't need that ada and all or Fortran uh, and all but still I'll select all uh, and uh, uh, you can skip uh, if you don't want these things but uh, you can also you can include all those things maybe in uh, later somewhere you need add a compiler uh, so uh, that at, at that time you don't need to uh, again reconfigure that so I'll suggest you install all the click on all the uh, installer packages so just enable all these things mark for installation and uh, we'll just uh, uh, yeah we'll again mark and mark for installation mark for installation this one also mark for installation for g plus plus gcc and this one so we have uh, marked all uh, these uh, seven compiler sound installer packages so uh, now what will we do we'll just go to installation and in installation we'll just click on apply changes and here one pop-up window came okay to proceed the package changes items below will be implemented when you choose apply so we'll click on apply so now here you can see uh, it's uh, uh, installing all those packages so again now it will take uh, a time so again i'll just fast forward for you uh, this video also so let it uh, install so now you can see that uh, uh, the installation of uh, all the installer packages has been completed so uh, we can close it now and uh, now uh, if i just uh, go to uh, i'll just close this window i'll just go to command prompt so here if i just uh, type gcc version so uh, we'll see gcc is not recognized uh, recognized so what we need to do we first we need to uh, just go to that path where this installation is done so we'll just go to that uh, particular path and we'll see how how uh, we can uh, just uh, look uh, things uh, uh, i mean uh, i will just go to that particular path and let's see how uh, we can uh, run this uh, gcc thing using this command prompt so here is the thing in this bin folder we have all this gcc and uh, g++ exe so i'll just open cmd here and if i'll write here gcc version so here you can see gcc mingw.org gcc this one uh, we have found and uh, so this here we, we are not getting any error so what we need to do we need to uh, just give this path to our environment variables so what will we do we will just go to add it uh, the system uh, environment variables so we will just uh, uh, we'll get this window and here in this environment variables we will click on this and here in the path uh, we will just click on add it and uh, uh, first uh, let's just uh, copy this path uh, so uh, not this one yeah so this uh, I have been 
so this path we need to go and we will just again go to here and in path we will click on edit and here we will just add click on new and copy this and click on ok and ok and again ok so now what we need to do we need to just close this cmd and now again we need to restart our cmd now here if i just gcc version if i'll see so i can see that uh, here also i am just getting this uh, gcc thing so uh, uh, we can uh, uh, say that now installation is uh, completed uh, thoroughly now uh, if we'll just go to uh, our vs code and we'll just uh, run one simple c code build using this mingw compiler so let's see how we can do that so one hello world code only uh, we can we'll write, we'll write and we will just see how to, how we can compile using this so what i'll do i'll just click on this folder and open folder and in this open folder i'll just let's say in desktop only i want to um, create new folder and uh, in this new folder let's say hello world okay so we'll select this folder so uh, our project has been created now we'll just uh, hello uh, world dot uh, c we'll just uh, create one file and here we'll just um, include uh, stdio dot h so now uh, int main and we'll just uh, write one simple program printf and hello world and return so zero now okay because we are using int so we need to return also now what we need to do we need to just we need to compile this thing so what what all we need to do we'll just go to this terminal we'll just uh, uh, go to new terminal and uh, here uh, this uh, folder we will get now here this uh, program we need to compile first gcc so for compilation, uh, uh, if uh, you are aware of the GCC uh, commands and all, so for first we need to give, give output file and then we need to give execute uh, that dot uh, C file. So if we don't, we will not give any file. Let's say I'll just give uh, GCC hello uh, uh, world. Uh, uh, so if I'll just uh, do like that, so a.exe uh, will be generated automatically. So uh, you not recognize as the name uh, of the command. So okay. Okay, so we will just uh, uh, do one thing. We'll just uh, see how in our extension C C plus plus instance is installed or not. So this is installed. So uh, I actually found the. Uh, uh, I just find the solution. What was the uh, problem? Basically, uh, I had I had created project in desktop and desktop was there in OneDrive and then that's why some uh, issues going on with that GCC was not executing in this integrated terminal in this VS code but now uh, the same code I have written uh, and uh, this C project I have created in uh, in D drive and in D drive one folder C project and GCC uh, then I am executing so that was uh, maybe because of in OneDrive or something uh, something like that mm, that may be the issue but now I am not getting this error in this integrated terminal as well because in outside terminal it was working uh, that code was also working if I will show you uh, like uh, if uh, this was the code uh, which actually I have written uh, hello world 
in desktop and if I'll just uh, do this thing and here if I'll just do CMD so here basically I can able to run uh, this uh, thing um, uh, hello world.c so here also it is making executable so a.exe uh, is a, it, it it created executable if I'll just delete let's say uh, uh, like that and if I'll run from uh, this command uh, prompt and here uh, I'll do uh, come execute this so it will just create uh, uh, that exe uh, on that folder not here here you can see a.exe is created so uh, I can execute this like this uh, if I'll execute uh, uh, from here if I'll execute dot slash a so I'll get hello world so uh, this is the thing uh, it's not uh, uh, generated output through VS code because of maybe one uh, because of some path uh, error or maybe this uh, text of hello world and this one drive path maybe there that's why it, I'm getting this error but okay now we will just uh, uh, do this thing here in this uh, visual studio code this integrated terminal we are uh, just executing this command now i'll do this a dot exe and here uh, sorry i did not uh, uh, run this the so first run this now it's executed because i had deleted that now i'll just a dot exe or even if will not give exe then also uh, it will uh, do the task so here uh, you can see hello world is printed uh, so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this just comment us below thank you guys thank you very much